Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Eddie Jennings from EJSLLC.com and this video is going to be another in my series of RHCSA practice sessions where I'm not necessarily giving authoritative information but I'm going through the um, objectives for the Red Hat Certified System Administrator exam and just seeing if I can talk intelligently um, about them. That being said, I do try to, to give accurate information and maybe the, um, the information that I present and kind of the way I present it might be a little different than what you've done in some of your own studies and you might find it helpful um, seeing, seeing another way of, of doing things. Before I dive in, I want to remind you if you enjoy the content of the video, make sure you click like. Also, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell when you do so you can be aware of when new videos come out. So the topic for this video is going to be managing tuning profiles, which is within the operate running systems section of the exam objectives. And tuning profiles, um, these are similar to what you'd, you'd find on laptops. Um, laptops a lot of times will have little profiles for like a power profile for being balanced or a power profile for high performance or a power profile for battery life. And the idea there is depending on which one you choose, there are certain system settings that, that are set by it, such as if you want the high battery life, you know, you're, it will probably limit some of the capabilities of your uh, GPU or, or CPU and the like, but you might be doing some applications such as text editing and such that don't really require um, you know, having a lot of computing power in, in, in your laptop lasts longer because there's less stuff that's being that's draining the battery. On the other hand, let's say you're wanting to play a game and such, well, you'd maybe put that to high performance, which will utilize all of your GPU's capabilities and such, which consequently will um, will drain your your battery more because you're 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 using more of the resources. Well, within Red Hat Enterprise Linux you have the same kind of idea with with uh, performance profiles or tuning pro or uh, or um, I guess performance profile w w would be the the right name of it and the service that offers this is something called TuneD so here I am in my I'm using obviously CentOS for this but if I were to do system CTL status TuneD we see that the dynamic system tuning daemon is running so the main command for working with this is tuned-adm. So if I were to do just or type tuned-adm, like a lot of commands, um, just that is not really a valid command. But what will be returned are a few things that are probably going to be useful for you with using the the command, and one of which is tuned-adm-list. or just list and this shows all of the available profiles and you have uh, several like balance profile for desktop one for network latency and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about these profiles a I don't have a lot of detail to give and B I think for the RHCSA exam they're really more concerned with do you know what these are can you set them can you set them in a way that will uh, persist past a reboot rather than really digging into these and, and configuring them? That being said, they, they, you, you, it is possible to, to see what these things would be doing. First of all, let's look at the one that's currently active on the machine. And you can do that, tune the ADM active. And right now the current active profile is virtual guest, which makes sense because this is a, a, a VM. One nifty thing that you can do, so if you're on a system and you're looking to utilize various profiles, TuneD ADM recommend. And there you, you can look at the, the man pages for TuneD and it will sh describe what it does to do it, it, its recommendation. But this based off of the criteria that it looks at it says that for for this particular um, Linux system virtual guest is probably the most appropriate um, perf uh, performance profile for you to use now this doesn't mean you can't use others but based off of whatever little 
algorithms that, that, that it uses to, to get that virtual guest is what we have. So the question becomes, you know, how do you make, make a change persist with this? So managing tuning profiles, let's say that I wanted to change the tuning profile to desktop. So I will do tune the ADM profile desktop. And then we can look at tune D ADM active to confirm that it is desktop. From what I have seen, this is all you need to do. Just tune the ADM uh, profile and wh whatever it is that will persist. But just as a um, as a test, we can reboot real quick and see if that profile is still there, which I'm I'm sure that it will be. But of course, should is the um, I guess, is it should or sure? I think it's probably both famous last words in IT, right? So this will be up in just a moment, and we'll take a look. One other thing that we'll look at are a couple of these profiles so I can show you what's being set by them. I don't have a full understanding of exactly what's being set, but I'll only show you where you can go to find out if you want to dig into that. All right, and one for one looks like for passwords. Tend to fat finger that a good bit. All right, so let's go into our terminal. Tune D ADM dash ADM and active. So post reboot, we are still on desktop. So if I had um, an exam task of changing the Tune D ADM profile, then simply Tune D dash ADM profile whatever I want. So if you want to get into um, what's actually being configured with these. If you were to go to your US user lib tune D folder, you're going to see um, directories for each of our um, our profiles. And then let's um, let's look. Actually, let's look at the desktop one. So we'll go into desktop, and we're going to find a tune D.conf file, and we'll look at that using less. And of course, there's not much here. So Looking at these, sysctl seems to be where, where a, a decent bit of settings are um, are done. And let's look at another. Uh, let's look at the network throughput one. Well, we'll just cap this one. And there has a couple of, uh, of other um, attributes which looking at that not 100% sure what what I'm seeing but just kind of making a guess here this looks like some type of memory buffer that you would be setting for um, it's like TCP and UDP uh, or handling TCP and, and UDP but the point being is each of these profiles will tweak your system in, in, in such a way that will hopefully have it perform better for whatever specific scenario that, that you need. But for the RHCSA, from what I, um, what I can gather, is really what, what, what Red Hat's looking for is, can you recognize these? Can you list them? Can you change it? Will, and and, and will that, that change persist? So if you found this useful, please click like on the video. Also subscribe to the channel. Feel free to uh, leave comments, ask questions and such. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. And if I get something wrong, by all means, leave a comment about that. So A, I can learn and anyone else that's, that's watching the video can as well. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you the next time.